Hello everyone, welcome to my knockery. My name is Linda and I am part of Knit and Crochet with Linda in June. Unfortunately, June can't be here today, she's working. Um, but I'm doing, um, it's nearly the end of June and every three months I give you an update on the four blankets that I'm making. And I've also got um, acquisitions today to share with you. So, um, I have two crocheted blankets i've got two knit blankets um one um three of them are advent and the other one is the um first one i'm going to show you is the rainbow starlight blanket by uh, christina odemer i will put the link in the description box below and i'm using yarn that i purchased from turkey and some yarn that i bought from Black Sheep Wools. So the Black Sheep Wools yarn is the Sedar Stories and this is called Iced Lattes and this is the one I got from Turkey. The specs are both the same. They've got, um, what is it? It's 60 acrylic, 60 cotton, 40 acrylic in both of them and this colour, this one is the Naco Cotton Nordic. It's really, really nice and um, so the last time I showed you, I can't remember where it was now, I've removed it. Anyway, I have done a bit more on it, as you can see. Um, so I have got, let me just show you the pattern. I can just show you. I've not got, a, so this is the pattern. And as you can see this, uh, I've done the, um, the Nordic, and then I've used the stories for the kind of cream on here. Now what I want to, what I'm thinking of doing is now that I've done two, I'm going to do the third one, the third um, bobble row in this. But I don't think I've got enough to do the fourth one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the third. After I've done this, I've got another bobbles. And then after that, I've got plenty of this yarn, the Nordic, that I'm going to just finish it off in the Nordic and maybe do the edging in this just to finish it off. But I'm really, really liking the colours. This is this was one of the, well, it was the first blanket that I ever made with yarn so i wanted to revisit it it used to be on the back of my chair and then i donated it to the cat's protection uh, for their funding to sell and for their funding so yeah so this is what i've done so far i'm really really liking the blending of the yarn so yeah so that's what i've done with that um i think the last time i was on the face bubble face bubbles so i've done um the pattern and then another bobble and I'm just on the other these are uh, clusters and this is where I learned how to do clusters how to do bobbles front post back post so I, I learned uh, an awful lot from this and uh, I really do enjoy making it it's not I'm not in any rush to get it finished it's just I just work on it. I try and do my blankets on a Sunday. I try, you know, unless, um, but at the moment, uh, Arjun and I were going to Black Sheep Wolves on a Sunday to the Knit and Natter, which is lovely. We've made some new friends, which is always nice because, as you all know, um, our hobby is quite um, a lonely hobby, really. And uh, obviously, we've got youtube and we've made friends and well june and i've made lots of friends on youtube as well but it's, sometimes it's just nice to get out and about so the second crochet blanket and i'm nearly nearly finished guys so when this uh, i'm on the last um skein and um so this um, I've still got ends to put in so where was I the last time the last time I showed it I was here and I've done all of the green so let me just show you so I've done that I've done all that and then I've done that so it takes me about 15 20 minutes to do a flower 
the star flower and you know I've got a tutorial for this and um, so what I want to do I'm hoping the yarn will get me all the way down to here and across here and because it'll finish here so I would say I've got another let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen I've got about fifteen I think to do just to be on the safe side so I'm hoping the next time this blanket will be finished so I'm really really liking this so I think I'll do this as my thumbnail what do you think so yeah so that is um i'm really hoping to get this finished uh, and then that's one of the advent blankets i definitely want this finished um before i see you next and then um, hopefully july i'll get that finished by july definitely um and then um i've got two advent calendar uh, two advent knit blankets um i got three advents last year uh, botanical yarns the yarn whisperer and my yarny corner and i decided to do the jelly roll by um Ke is it the bakery bears i can't remember a name anyway so this was where i'm, I'm i've done this much and then the last time i showed you i was here so i've finished this strip off i'll finish this strip off and i've started two four i've started the sixth sixth row and i have done a little tutorial on how, how i join my my um my stripes um so i've done a little tutorial so that's what i'm up to, to today um i kind of i've i got this this bag and then once once this bag's finished i've got lots of um other yarn in my bowl you know um yarn that's left over from socks from shawls from um cowls and whatever and um, i've got them all um sweaters that i've made so i'm going to be adding uh, once this bag's finished i'm going to be adding more and whatever's left over i'm making myself um a ma um a not um a magic knot ball so yeah so that is that one i'm really enjoying this what what yeah what um, I'm using, I think I'm using 2.5, 2.25 2 um, DPNs and I've just put stoppers on the end and I've got a stopper there so so it doesn't mean my stitches don't fall off. I really, 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 really enjoy doing that. It's kind of like television <laughs> or when I'm watching or catching up on videos. So there's that one. And then the last one is going to take me these the last two blankets and the first blanket they'll just be done as and when obviously I, I try and um, either do one on um, do a square or a stripe um, on Sundays and during the week if I've um, if I've got time and this is what i've done so far so this is all um the advents and that i don't think that's an advent but i don't know where it come from but hey ho oh it might be from one of the shawls anyway so last time i was here so i've done once i've finished one stripe and I've, i'm on the last stripe for this one and I'm using 2.5, 2.5 circular needles, but I really like this. So I've done, so I need to do two, four, six, eight, nine. I've got another five strike, five 
lots across and then I'll just wake it up because then I've got the width so I've got another five more stripes to finish the width and then I'll just um, go up and then this is what I've got for this one so once the, that's done obviously I'll use whatever else I've got so what I do is um, this is the yarn that I'm using on this one and then I lay it out and I pick out the next row's um, colours, if you like. And I keep them all nicely in um, my very fit. I think it's one of the, um, an old bag that I bought, Harry Potter. Who doesn't love <laughs> Harry Potter? Yep. So anyway, so that's that one done as well. So, um, and I work on these last two that i showed you but they're just garter stitch so they're really nice uh, to work on while i'm catching up on my videos or i'm watching a film and that especially if june's here I, I tend to do them when june's here as well on a thursday afternoon while we're watching movies because it's just knit just garter so you all know i absolutely love socks and i've seen a few um a few podcasters i think ruth from ruth loves to knit podcast um i think tracy and i'm not sure whether, whether tracy and kirsty from wool and wishes have used this yarn it's from wool warehouse and i got them and i bought some sock yarn because I wanted to give it a try because you know I make socks loads of socks and it's um wool is it wool warehouse yeah it is wool warehouse's own sock yarn and they've got it on special offer at the moment so the solids are five pound fifty and the um and the variegated is six pound fifty hold on that's a different one six pound fifty yeah S yes so um this one is this is magenta i'll give you the specs so we've got 100 grams 3.5 ounces 400 meters uh 437 yards it's 75 possession 75 percent merino wool and 25 percent nylon cool wash cool iron cool tumble dry do not bleach and it's a 2.25 to 3.25 needles and do you know what guys it's so soft it reminds me of the yarn in america you know at the way um yarn uh, is it yarn b um or oh, i love Is it I love yarn or I love cotton? Uh, the the way they're they're um, thinged, and it is actually, um, yeah. Yarn Smiths. Oh, Yarn Smith family of actually, and this color is two K three six seven. All they're all the same specs, and then I've got this nice khaki i thought they'd be nice for rick um, and that and i've got lots of um yarn left over from other socks that i think i can join them and you know to um cuffs or the heel or the toe and that so and then the other one i've got this is delft blue this is Delft Blue. I got this for our June because, as you know, our June's knitted her first pair of socks, and I think she's so. And I, I got baby pink. Um, what my best friend Leslie, she loves pink, so I got this to make her a sock. I could even do um heel, heel and toe and ribbing in the magenta to go with the pink. And then I got um, the um, the variegated, and this is called Rainy Days. Hold on, what happened to the colour? There we go. This is called Rainy Days. It's the same specs as before, and it's like blues. So I've got that for June. 
and then um, I got this one which I thought would be nice for Rick this is called Moorland so it's got purples and blues uh, no it's not blue yeah it is it's blue greens like um, a taupe colour uh, not white or cream it's like um, a taupey and that so that's that one and then um, we all know it's summer sock camp at the moment and I bought this for summer sock camp and it's called fruit salad and it looks amazing I can't wait to see what that looks like knitted up yes I know it's lovely and do you know what guys it's so so soft so I can't wait so that's the little um because obviously if you you can't you can't just order one can you especially when more warehouse give you a um, free postage if you spell 30 pound and that little lot cost me 41 pound but i'll get two two four five six seven seven pairs of socks out of that and maybe more um because you know i've only got little feet <laughs> But it'll come in handy and, and whatever so that's my little acquisition there my blankets update and um, what i'll do now is i'll put a stitch marker in so you all know where from this month to um it'll be september when i, I show you the blankets again but the star flower blanket um i think that'll be finished by the end of july so um i think that's all from me for for this month i hope you enjoy um, enjoyed having a, a quick look at my um, blankets the progress I've made on my blankets I'm loving them it's just really nice sometimes you just need some knitting that is just garter stitch and there's no you know you know don't have to watch a pattern and that I do love my patterns and um, but I really enjoy it I can't wait for that star flower to be finished and then i can block it and then we'll see what it looks like so i'm so excited to get that finished so that's all from me for today i hope you're all well welcome to all our new subscribers we're well over 7k now congratulations to my winners as well the winners they've their uh, prizes have all been sent out to them and uh, i hope everybody takes care stay safe but more importantly guys i hope you all take care of you and be kind to you and Arjun also sends her best regards and I will see you we will see you all in the next video bye bye for now